Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This is a little bit of a different video because I'm taking I took a week off this week. You didn't know if you had watched my last Judeo vlog, you would have known I just completely mumbled that, you probably had none of that. Um but yeah, I'm doing a bit of a different video. This is a challenge video. I'm doing the three colour challenge. I've never done this before and this was really interesting for me. Um I used a website. Let me get the website up. Okay, so I used this website called Random Colour. You literally just click on it and it gives you a random colour. I lost all of my footage for this video. So I don't have me actually getting the colours, which sounds really weird, but when I do the speed paint, you can actually see the screenshots of the website colours, the colours I've off the website. So I did it three times. The colours are interesting. Um, just wait and see. I'm going to do a voiceover for this. It's going to be different. But tell me if you like the voiceover format. Tell me if you like the video. Let's get on to voiceover ghost and the actual video. Okay, so we're on to the voiceover. So as you can see here, this is a little bit of just how I do my sketchbooks. But these are the colours. Um, I'm not a fan of pink. But, you know, the orange is nice and they work well together, that's the thing, they work really nice together. I'm here, I'm just writing down uh, things that come to mind when I think of these colours. So flowers, warm, they're quite warm tones, oranges, fruit, spring, things like that. Sorry about my voice then. Just drawing some little bits to go with that, just to jog my memory and show other people. I'm beginning to thumbnail here. See, it doesn't take me very long to get a kind of idea in my head. Um, thumbnailing is a very clever idea. Um, love thumbnailing. It, uh, you can explore different ideas within an idea. So this is me exploring different poses, different ways of doing the illustration. Kind of wish I did the little one lying down, but you know. Um, so it's just really interesting to explore different ideas within an idea, and that's what I'm doing here. You can see I'm kind of struggling to get what I want right, kind of get the idea out of my head. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is, no, that's not the one I start with. I don't know what I'm doing in my head, I felt this ages ago. But you can see, I'm just trying to get an idea out, really. In a minute, one comes up with a little tick. I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's the one that I decide to use. Yeah. So this is just me thumbnailing my general idea of the sitting down um, and the cute kind of like airy spring pose, you know, kind of thing. And I decided to go with that one. I drew a little orange juice because I was procrastinating. Uh, yeah, I was procrastinating. I'm not going to lie. I was procrastinating doing the thing. So I drew a little orange juice. But there you go. You get to draw a little orange juice. Now on to the big sketch. This is interesting. This sketch took me so much trial and error. The legs just would not work properly. There were so many problems with this. But I'm... Not going to talk about them, you can see the issues, and I'm going to actually come back in a bit, you can, I'll tune back in in a minute, Min, you can just like watch me struggle for a bit.
okay, here is where it gets interesting. Now, here is me struggling with the hair. I was originally went with this like ponytail idea, thinking it's a bit like spring, bit hip, you know? Um, pretty much trashed that quickly, pretty quickly. You can see resizing things is a god on uh, digital art. You can resize things if things are out of slightly out of proportion. But not like everything for me is a bit out of proportion. They're not like completely proportionate, but like too out of proportion. So I'm playing around with some face shapes here because you know, I wanted this like round idea, but I thought I'd try something else. Clothing, oh my God, clothing on this illustration, guys. You can see I played around with a lot of different things. I had this idea that the pinks gave me this like sweet, kind vibe, but the orange gave me this like sharp vibe. So I tried a dress to begin with. Uh, as you can see, it did not carry on with that idea. I basically decided to trash that. I was like, no, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. Um, let's see what else I try. I think I tried, this is when I decided, you know what? I love drawing jeans. People still wear jeans in the spring, you know, cause it's not, it's still a bit cool, not very hot, you know, unless you're in like LA or something, but not the point. So I was like, jeans, I'm good at drawing jeans. I think jeans look good with pretty much everything. And then I added a little tank top. Cause I saw this uh, person on Pinterest with this like tank top jeans and this like long flowy cardigan. And I was like, I'm going with that. I hated the cardigan. So I opted for not that. But then I saw this other picture of this woman wearing like a cropped leather jacket with patches on. It hit the spot instantly, that little bit of sour that I was looking for. So a little, little, little denim jacket, denim <laughs> leather, a little leather jacket with some patches on. I drew here. You're about to watch me struggle, struggle with the, um, struggle with the hair again. So as you can see, I, I trashed the ponytail idea. Adding a little necklace, cute vibes, yeah, you know, you know. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try redrawing the ponytail. It didn't work. It, you can see it's just already, it's not gonna work. The way that the hands position and stuff, it's not gonna work. I don't know why I was trying to make it work. It just, it wasn't gonna work. So then I decided buns, you know, they're a bit round, like an orange, could be fun. Then I hated where the arm was and I tried moving it down. I was like, oh no, I hate that. So I moved it back. <laughs> and then I tried the ponytail again. I really struggled. Oh no, this is like long hair, but like holding a piece. I was trying different hair, trying different things, you know. Um, I'm pretty, I settled for the buns because I think they look the cutest. And then I just go on to the face and I colored after that. So, you know, I went onto the face, doing the face, making things a bit round and a bit sharp kind of. I just, round and sharp at the same time, wow. Whoa, those are things that fit together, but you know, working on the face, it's cute, I like it. I tried quite hard with the eyes, the eyes weren't working very well to begin with. Then when I got something I liked, roughly under the sketch I just like blocked out the colours to see what colours I was going to use, ended up with that one. As you can tell, um, I used more than three colours, but in like three colour challenges where you do it traditional, you can take the colours and water them down if they're certain mediums so I just like turn the opacity down and stuff to get a skin colour. Anyway, I'm gonna let you enjoy me colouring the rest of this. Enjoy the music. come in and add a little bit in um today i want to say how much i loved the illustration that i finished actually i really like the feeling it has uh, what i was ending on that voiceover was i added a necklace to make it seem more sweet 
and then that's it done so i'll add a little image maybe at the end or something of it but yeah let's go to the actual ending i filmed okay guys so there you go that was the video i hope you enjoyed it um you are welcome to join in if you'd like and use the three colors and make your own sweet art out of that color wow my voice is weird today um but yeah i will see you next week for another studio vlog subscribe if you'd like to join the spooky family um have a good weekend hope you had a good week stay spooky guys <laughs> <laughs>